Sarah Cook from Hey You Guys. Hi, Sarah. Hi, how are you doing? I'm very good. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you very much. Um, congratulations, such a wonderful show. Uh, I'm halfway through and I'm so engrossed. Can't wait to, to get stuck into what the rest episode of the episodes. are you on? Um, I've just finished episode four, just started episode five. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, good. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see what you think of the next. We'll have to talk, talk again after the after you've seen the rest of the season because um, a lot's about to happen. <laughs> uh, a lot has happened. <laughs> yes, yes, that's the foundation for you. <laughs> So uh, for people who uh, aren't aware of Foundation, I was wondering if you could start off by telling us a little bit about your character. Well, I don't, I don't really play a man. I play a series of men who, for a very specific time in their life, inherit the role of the Emperor of the Galaxy, right? Which is absurd <laughs> that, that, I, that I would play this role. I mean, he, he is a, the... If you can imagine, like, it is mind-boggling in scope, the kind of control this role offers. He has, you know, the control over 10,000 worlds, trillions of people. The technology makes it possible to be, you know, to travel light years within an instant, surveil, you know, all he can decide who lives and who dies. Um, and he's figured out a way to, to cheat death and you know hold his power for potentially all time and he intends to um all of this is of course a fantasy because this is not possible yeah. right he and i th and i think what is interesting to me as the character is not you know that you know it's, it's like an actor taking on a role it's like the role of the emperor of the galaxy what's interesting to me are these various humans that inhabit that role and what makes them different. Um, I, I, I would say that the pivotal moment of the series kind of happens in that first episode where Harry Seldon looks them in the eye and tells them what his math has shown him with you know, consequential certainty that the empire is going to fall and that mankind will face a dark age that it might not recover from. And I want you to take a, I want you to examine how differently each of these three emperors, who are supposedly the same person, respond to that information, right? Yeah. That's what I find interesting about it, because I think inside of it, they begin to awaken to their own individuality, and they start to discover a sentience that, um, I think, you know, speaks to what the series is very much about, which is what does it mean to be a human? Where is the soul? You know, um, wh what is, what is, uh, how do we grapple with the principle of change? What is math worth? What can it quantify? It can count the minutes, but does it really record the change that has taken place, right? Are there certain things that, spirituality is better suited to investigate right because and you know like i said the show offers no conclusions so at this point we invite the audience in to investigate with us and i you know i'm very careful about what i i i want to say in these interviews because i i was able to read this stuff and i love this stuff i love science fiction and i love this specific specific kind of speculative fiction so I want the audience to have the same opportunity I had of um, taking in the story and um, investigating that with without a lot of my blah, 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 blah. <laughs> this is what I hoped for the character and intended for the character. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I, know ex I know exactly what you mean. I think you answered all my questions that I had because this is such an interesting character for you to play. And I think you do it so wonderfully because you have to play different iterations of the same character at different points of like his life. And it's like the same character, but at different times in in the world, in this in the timeline. So it's it's fascinating, and you do it so well. So congratulations! Oh, that means so much to me. Thank you, thank you very much. No thank worries. you. Well, fingers crossed, we get a second season and a third, and we can really take our time exploring, 
you know, what 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 is going on here? Because after finishing the first season, I feel like it's really only the typical tip of the iceberg of what is possible. Written. So, knock wood. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Out of my hands well, now. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, thank you so much for talking to me today. It's been an absolute pleasure. And good luck with the rest of the series. I'll definitely tweet at you when I've watched the rest of the show. <laughs> oh, good, good. I'll keep my eye out for it. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!